Florida's 53rd Infantry Brigade is getting ready to roll out its next stop, Afghanistan. For months now, our citizen soldiers have made the transition from weekend warriors to state-of-the-art military forces. ABC News Channel 27 photographer Carlos Heron and I take you to the last days of theater immersion training. The Florida Air National Guard C-130 readies for takeoff. In the belly of the combat transport, Assistant Adjutant General Michael Fleming gives us a final briefing. It's, uh, it's a great mission for our soldiers. It's just something really tremendous we're proud of, and we're glad you're going to get to go over there. You're going to see some uh, forward operating bases there, a lot of great, uh, a lot of great training. There. Field training to prepare our troops for deployment to Afghanistan. At Camp Shelby, Mississippi, a little better than 1,200 Florida National Guard train to protect themselves, and they train to pass on the information. But our specific mission will be training the Afghan National Army uh, in issues of discipline, issues of training, uh, how to get the job done with a small force, those kinds of things. So basically, we're exporting uh, our training tactics and procedures to the Afghan National Army. So, while in the mock theater sequence, the scenarios are real and tensions are high, they've got to make it count because eventually these Floridians' lives will be on the line. Once out of harm's way, smiles return to faces. For close to half of these guardsmen, this mobilization to the forward theater is not the first time. Just last year, Captain Tully Smith was fighting in Iraq. Now this time you're going to Afghanistan. Correct. It's going to be vastly different, do you imagine? No, it, it's going to be somewhat different. Uh, in Iraq, it was 135 degrees Fahrenheit in the shade. Um, Afghanistan, throughout most of the country, is a little bit cooler, uh, a lot more rocky, hilly, less sandy. So, the training continues with soldiers from virtually every corner of Florida at a camp in Mississippi preparing for whatever Afghanistan throws at them. Sir, someone asked me the other day, I think it was the governor, said, where do you find these folks? Well, we find them all across Florida. Uh, small town everywhere, and that's why it's important to bring the National Guard and Reserves into any theater combat operations, because when you mobilize the Guard, you mobilize America. And tomorrow we'll take you to the live fire range for something called reflexive firing, which is basically learning to differentiate friend from foe instinctively. And we'll, we'll introduce you to the highest ranking enlisted man in Florida. Went to high school at uh, Godby High School, and uh, before that, uh, R. Frank Nims Middle School and Carolyn Bavard. So you're a Tallahassee boy. I'm a boy. Tallahassee boy, born and raised. So you won't want to miss it. And still to come on News Channel 27, Uncle Sam and the state of Florida say, knowing your credit score. About 1,200 National Guardsmen from all over Florida are at Camp Shelby, Mississippi right now. One of their prime training directives is to clean, cleanse old habits when it comes to response time. ABC News Channel 27's Robert Burns and photographer Carlos Jiron take you to a place where our neighbors are learning a new technique called reflexive fire. The fire team approaches the reflexive live fire range with caution. These guardsmen will have to interact with foreign nationals. This deployment, Afghans. Status. Two up, move out. Today's lesson, to IFF, or identify friend or foe. If the outline's the latter, it's going down. They engage various different uh, target uh, sets as they go down, and again, each target set has an, an IFF component to it, so they have to decide uh, which target pops up, which one to engage. And throughout all of our lanes, the block target is the, uh, is the uh, enemy target. If there's a moment's lag time, one of these National Guardsmen could become a statistic. This fire patrol, this day, has no fear of becoming complacent. Uh, these guys are going to be ready. Ever since I took command in uh, December 04. Uh, when I did take command, I told them that I was going to train them until they can't train anymore so that they're going to be as prepared as they possibly can be for this location. One North Florida non-commissioned officer is going to make sure of that. Command Sergeant Major Mike Hosford is in charge of every one of these enlisted men and women. Now, Hosford, that sounds like a familiar name. It is. If you go about 25 miles due west of Tallahassee on Highway 20, you run right into Hosford. 
but I'm from Tallahassee. Um, majority of my family's from Hosford. Hosford says, as Command Sergeant Major, this Tallahasseean is trying to ensure his Florida National Guardsmen will return triumphant. Major General Burnett, too, is proud to be connected with a training program willing to take no prisoners. There's no question that the front end training that the United States Army is doing will not only be an investment for the future for these leaders, but it will save lives, it'll save injuries. That's what training is all about. And that report was from Robert Burns. The 53rd Infantry Brigade should return home from Afghanistan just in time for next hurricane season. Command Sergeant Major Hosford says more than 8,000 National Guardsmen will stick close to Florida and the possibility the state will need them to help out during hurricane threats. Tropical Storm Marlene is taking aim at the Gulf Coast. Nancy is in next with the very latest. Stay with us.